This is 2020 and it looks like we're heading towards the end of 2020 and for a lot of businesses it doesn't look so good. It looks kind of bleak. A lot of businesses have closed. Tons of them have opened. Tons and tons of businesses have opened. And a lot of businesses out there are struggling because of the, the time and, and what we've been going through. But there's so many things out there that you could be doing for your business. I know I've been encouraging businesses to do one simple thing. One simple thing. This one thing can actually change your... I'm talking to brick and mortar businesses right now. Brick and mortar businesses have the hardest time of going into the digital world. I've looked at a couple of websites out there and they're either non-functional or dysfunctional or they're there because someone told them they should have a website and it's useless. But you know what? For now, if you're not online, don't even worry about it. But this is how you get online, believe it or not. Is you email your customers. You have, what, two, three, four, five thousand customers coming to you door? Like, utilize them. You got 10,000 customers, utilize them, email them. I know that when I had a brick and mortar business, every single time I emailed my customers without fail, it was, it was a guaranteed sale. And the best thing about it is your competition don't even, doesn't know what you're doing at any given time. It's so much stuff out there that you should be doing that you do not do. And why is it? Is it because the thing is you went into business, you overcame that fear and went into business in the first place. And the thing is for your business to get beyond that point, you must continue to overcome your fear. You must continue to push the envelope. You must continue to do those sorts of things because if you do not, your business doesn't get, it doesn't continue to grow. It stops. You, you get you plateau so that when you have a challenging time like these times right now you have not been adjusting you got so comfortable and confident in what you're doing that you didn't adjust and continue to grow and push your business forward and that is the thing right now you've got to continue to grow and continue to push your business forward if you do not push your business forward when times like this happen you can't adjust you don't adjust you become afraid to change. You become afraid to, to do those actual things that you're supposed to do. You just do. I'm encouraging you to take on the mindset that you had when you first started your business. Take on that mindset. And that mindset was, yes, you were a little bit afraid to go into business without a doubt. It's not like you had all this confidence in the world, it's going to work definitely. You had a little bit of insecurity, you had a little bit of fear, but the thing is you embraced that fear. And it was not fear that stopped you, it was the excitement of gain. It was the excitement to move forward that actually encouraged, encouraged your spirit and encouraged your, who you are. And right now, the thing is, there's certain things that you should be doing. I'm going to encourage each and every one of you that listen to this thing, Stop what you're doing, look at something, look at, write an email to your customers, just thanking them for being a customer. That's it. Thank you for being a customer. That's all I'm going to ask you to do. Thank you for being a customer. And then tomorrow, again, saddle down and say, you know, yesterday I thank you for being a customer. Today, you know, this is, I'm selling you this. I think this item will be good for those who have this item. So. You can say, hey, if you have shades, I think the hat's going to go with the shades. Something like that. Encourage a sale. You do not ask for a sale. You do not get a sale. I'm Terrence Douglas from Douglas Business Coaching. I help businesses increase revenue. I help businesses overcome overwhelm. And you're not going to overcome your overwhelm unless you do something. And in doing something that I'm encouraging you to do, I have encouraged so many businesses. Terrence, what do I do to increase sales? Terrence, what do I do right now to to help my business move forward. I've told them all the one simple thing is, one of the most simple things is to use, utilize email. Utilize an email assistant. I, I'm not gonna put any advertisement down bottom, just terrencedouglas.com, that's it. If you wanna know what email assistant to use, just email me and I will get back to you and tell you what to use. You email all your customers in one push a button. You encourage them, you educate them, you, um, you sell to them. You, you help them move forward in whatever they're doing. You're in business to make money. You're in business to help people. You're in business to make people's lives even better than they already are. So 
these are the things that you have to do. You have to get over your fear and do certain things. And getting into the digital world may be in something as simple as just emailing your customers. There's a lot of other things that you can do. Take, for instance, look over the last 12 months. Matter of fact, geez, you got to go look back at least a year and a half now because the last eight months we were in this year, year and we were in this pandemic thing. And because of that, things have been drastically changed. But there are a lot of businesses out there that are thriving, thriving above and beyond. You can even imagine. Yes, there have been businesses that fail because of the product. It's nothing. Chances are it's nothing you've done or didn't do. It may be just because of the product. I happen to have closed my brick and mortar store as of March before the pandemic even started. I got lucky. I got really lucky. I didn't even know this was happening. And I decided last year to go full time into coaching. And now that's what I do. I coach businesses. So adjust and adapt. And we got to get you into the, everybody needs to get into the digital world in one way or form. And I'm encouraging you to start your way into the digital world by emailing. Emailing is a digital process. It means you're talking to every single one of your customers without your competition knowing. That's the good thing about it. your competition. Unless, of course, they get on your email list. But, but that's a technique right there. Get on the email list of all your competitors that are out there so that if they do email, you can see what they're doing at any given time. See how they're being created. But the key is for you to be creative and you to email all your customers. Just email them. Get over your fear. It is the fear that we must always get over. It's the fear that we must always challenge. Do not let the fear stop you. Let the excitement propel you. The difference of excitement and fear. You do not go in business because of fear. You go in business because of excitement. You do not go in business because you think you're going to fail. You go in business or you stay in business because you feel like you're going to succeed. The key is allow that feeling deep down within you to bubble up to the surface and propel you and encourage you to keep on in your business. Allow that feeling to inspire you. And if you don't have that feeling like right now, find it. Look back years ago and ask yourself, why did you go in business in the first place? Find out what it felt like. Remember what it felt like. Bring that feeling towards the, the present and capitalize it and, and dwell on it and dwell in it. And let that feeling excite, excite you and take you forward. Don't be afraid of the digital world. Yes, put your, um, your brick and mortar site on, online. Get the, that process up and running. Email your customers. Capture that information. Get a Facebook business page set up. Get these things done. Get somebody to help you do these things. Get a funnel set up. A funnel is nothing more. It's just a sales process. A But it's set in the digital uh, world. That's all a funnel is. It's, it's a sales process online. It's a sales process in the digital element. So that's all that is. So don't be afraid of going digital. Be excited about going digital. So now, when you're digital, guess who you reach? You do not reach those who just come to your store. It goes beyond that. So now your business potential starts to grow. It doesn't just become your environment, your district, your geographical area. It grows beyond that. So now you can become global. You can actually become international. But you don't have to embrace that right now. You don't have to digest that right now. You can develop it. So in the six, next six months, eight months, one year, you can start developing your digital process. You can start developing your digital presence. And think about taking your business national, international. You can start doing that. And you can do it one step at a time. But you have to adjust and adapt. You have to get over that fear and embrace that new technology. You have to be able to do that. This is here. This is new technology. I'm recording off a cell phone, new technology. I don't even know why they call it a cell phone anymore because this thing is a computer. It is a cell computer. It is a small mobile computer. It is new technology. You've got to embrace it. And it, you, you get people, that's why you have um, a lot of businesses have certain uh, mascots and the mascots become their spokesperson, either a person or a, an animal or something that becomes their, their spokesperson, their, their voice for their business. Find something, find someone, find something. Put on a mask yourself. Here's my mask right here. 
my shades. That's my mask. That's my, that's, so me in this environment here with these shades on, I now am the mascot for Douglas Business Coaching. Just do that because you not, must have a digital presence. Become that digital presence, have that digital presence. And don't be afraid to embrace things. A lot of things you can try, just try it out for me. Uh, e take for instance, email. You can try out an email in circuit. Put in, let's say, 100 emails on um, in, in one of the email platforms. Email those customers and see what happens, see what it gets. Say one person returns and, and you make a sale over one. That's actually very good because one out of a hundred is really, really good. Now, remember, if you got a thousand, how many are you going to make? You can make a hundred sales and that takes care of the cost of the emailing platform. But I'm encouraging you to, to embrace your excitement, embrace your hope, embrace the future. Not looking at the present, not looking at the past. You're actually looking at some of those things just for just to see where you are but I want you to embrace the excitement of business embrace what you can become embrace what you started to go in business um, initially why did you go in business because you were forced you you got fired but then even if you got fired you got excite, excited about what you can do what you can accomplish you got excited about things hey I can I can have my own business I can be independent. I can now serve people. I can now give to people. I now can have more time. I can spend more time with my family. I can spend more time with my friends. I can travel more. <laughs> Full stop. Because there's not much traveling going on now. I just put that in there. But see, you get more free. And the freedom of expression, the true business and the true freedom expression of expression is being in business and giving more, doing more, applying more. That is the true freedom. That is the true, true expression of business. And guess what? At the end of the day, you are rewarded for it. That's the finances. You are rewarded for it, but it no longer becomes work. It is no longer work. You don't get up in the morning and say, I am doing work. Work, the, the word work is almost a negative connotation, is a negative expression. I am going to my place of employment. I am going to, um, where are you going? I am going to, to give to people. I am going to encourage people. I am going to help people. I am going to uh, uh, do whatever for people and help those people to move on and move up and move on to a better 2020. 2020 is not over yet. It is not over yet. You can do a lot of things in four months. And I'm encouraging you to embrace technology, embrace your business, embrace that feeling of hope that you can end this year in a great bang. Matter of fact, you can end this year greater than the first uh, eight months of this year. End it better because you embrace what you can do, embrace who you are and what you can give to your community. And remember, your business is your community not my community, it is your community. So I encourage you to serve your community, give to your community, encourage your community, and in the end, sell to your community. And guess what, they give back to you because of that. My name is Terrence Douglas from Douglas Business Coaching. Visit me at terrencedouglas.com, T-E-R-E-N-C-E, douglas.com. Be encouraged and move on and have a great and better 2020.